My research has been um, really focused on core deficits in children with autism. And children with autism have a specific problem or delay in their use of joint attention gestures. When babies come into the world, they're not able to coordinate their attention with somebody else. It has to develop slowly. And it does, it develops between about four months and 24 months. And until they're able to attend to what other people attend to, it's relatively difficult from the, for them to learn from other people. And until they learn to uh, coordinate their attention with other people, it's hard for them to understand what words are. We learn to follow the gaze and follow the attention of somebody else. That's like learning to comprehend language. But then we start to be creative. We start to generate language, and we also start to generate bids to direct the attention of other people. It's, it's that generation of things, developing the capacity to share information, to express ourselves, or to share our point of view that children with autism have a particularly difficult time with. More triangle. Want red. We're almost halfway through intervention with Parker. Um, he is minimally verbal, so he doesn't use expressive language um, to communicate his wants and needs very independently. Um, so what we work on in our intervention is increasing his engagement in play activities with um, an adult and then increasing his use of language within those activities. Dump in. Dump in. When Parker started, he was using one to two words, and so I kept all my language at one to two words. All thick squares. As we've gone through intervention, he's now using three to four words, and so I will use three to four words and we try to match the frequency as well. So if he's not talking very often, I'm going to model language less often. Go! One of the things that Parker's really interested in is trucks. And when he first came into our intervention, it was hard for him to really play functionally and interactively with trucks. So we started by just having two trucks at a time, minimal materials, and um, modeling some different play actions. Do you want red? Red. 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 One of the things that's hard to notice when you're watching this type of intervention is how, how much structure and facilitation actually is going on. Moving materials around, making sure the environment is set up in a way that is conducive to them being able to generate their own ideas but not being overstimulated. If I saw that he was really getting hyper-focused on an object and wasn't able to be engaged with that object, I would remove it from the environment so that we could move on. In. Put square in. Put in. More square in. Put in. in. Put square in. Put in. Put square in. I keep very detailed notes about where he is when he starts any type of new therapy. And then um, I periodically, about every two to three weeks, document any progress. What this program has shown us is um, by the adult or the other child doing less, speaking less, it actually forces Parker to initiate and be spontaneous, whether it be action or speech. Um, and, and that's been the greatest learning and the greatest difference between other therapies that I've seen. He goes to a public school in LA Unified called Castle Heights. It's a preschool program for children with autism.
In addition to that, he has um, behavioral therapy, after school, speech therapy, occupational therapy, um, a program called NeuroFit. Um, so he's a, he's a busy boy. He works about 45 hours a week. In the first intervention study that we did, we uh, took children from an all the same early intervention program that was based on applied behavior analysis. So these were children getting 30 hours of intervention a week. And what we found from this very short term but intensive intervention, if we taught joint attention skills, the kids did more joint attention. Or if we taught play skills, the children did better on play. But if we didn't teach either of those and they just got the ABA program, they didn't improve in those skills. And more importantly, when we tested the kids a year later, we found that um, initiating joint attention skills were associated with better language skills. We now call that treatment approach JASPER, so joint attention, symbolic play, engagement, and regulation. Within a lot of these different kinds of interventions, they're more alike than they are different. They're all, in a sense, a combination of some developmental principles and behavioral principles. We'll get four and five word sentences from him now, whereas before we were lucky if we got a two-word phrase. His play before was very much what I would consider self-stimulatory or a stim, um, where he would utilize toys to make a certain noise that he found attractive or, um, uh, or to, f to fill containers, empty containers. It was all tended to be repetitive action. Now what we see from Parker is incredible. He, uh, he's pretending with toys. He is um, you know, using a dump truck to actually dump things, which, you know, to most parents doesn't seem that exciting, but for me, it's like New Year's Day. Parker has a, just a delicious little personality, and I just want the rest of the world to get to know him in the way that I do. And the only way th the rest of the world is going to get to know him is with language.